Welcome back to another exercise in SOLIDWORKS. With the help of this model, we will learn SOLIDWORKS surface features. So here, let's start with this cylindrical part. You will see there is a 100 diameter pipe. See here and here and the length of this pipe 300 by 300 millimeter. So first we will create this pipe. Then later there is a one more dimensions 200, 200. There is a curvature or tangent faces start from in between these two dimensions. So we have to trim then we will apply this. Let's see how. Uh, okay, one more thing, uh, you will see these curvatures have contact point and this contact point dimension 60 millimeter typical. So it is applied across all. So let's start with the right plane, a sketch, now activate circle tool, activate smart dimension, 100 millimeter and go to surface right click tabs and from here you can activate surface tabs now activate extruded surface a sketch we will keep as it is direction we we have to change mid plane because we want to drag in both side now here put the dimension 300 millimeter okay we don't need to fix cap and say yes now let's check the opposite plane front plane sketch now I am going to activate circle tool and start from origin right click or press escape key to out of the tool if I press left mouse and you will see here you will see few things if I move upside it will activate activate the smart dimension that's it 100 millimeters say yes exit and go to feature and activate extruded surface. Now again the same thing sketch we will keep as it is because in the same plane we are going to start. End condition we will keep mid plane. 300 millimeter is the dimension. Okay. Now it's time to trim this middle one. So I will activate top plane. Activate center rectangle. Okay, let me define the dimension 200 millimeter and I will hold shift key select these two lines and make a constraint you will see here and left to bottom also equal see the drawing is fully defined but we need to define a contact for this curvature so now here search a split entities you will find here make sure you selected command a split entities now see it is activated now I'll fix a place on this point it will ask you do you want to continue say yes yes we are going to place the points I'll show you how cancel Activate smart dimension. Now define the dimension. Undo. 60. Okay. Now hold shift key and apply equal tool to all. Equal. Now similarly I will apply to this equal. equal even though you can apply dimension that is not a big deal see here we already applied let's check see by default it's now but it's still not fully defined so let me define some more dimension to this Okay, 200 millimeter. Now it is fully defined. Exit and go to surface. And here I'll, I'm going to choose trim surface. Now the selection tool is sketch already selected. Now 
here I'll keep selection and what selection we want to keep you have to choose in this box keep trim type standard now let's say normal see if I move cursor the orange part going to be select one two three four keep split option natural say okay look it's trimmed but there is a difference if I'll choose this edge, it's going to select whole edge. But if I'm going to select inside edge, look, it is splitted in multiple edges. Look, I'll show you one more thing. Let's go to lifted surface. Now, first we have to choose profile. So let's start from here. This is set. okay. See, this edge going to select, this edge going to select. These are the contact what we created putting the dimension 600 typical. I hope you understood. Now here we need to put in drawing it is already mentioned these curves are tangent to each face is not normal. The 1.5 millimeter the tangent length is 1.5 millimeter and end con constraint also tangent faces. 1.5 millimeter and here we will apply to all so no need to apply in other side if you uncheck this look you will see one more edge you have to select and apply but better to apply all in this condition say yes move and similarly you have to select this all constraint Tangent 1.5 tangency to 1.5 apply all and here merge tangent faces why body going to select tangent to face 1.5 and constraint tangent to face 1.5 apply to all say yes something wrong happened here okay okay <coughs> now the points let's again choose this because points always be in direct proper direction One point five to all. Okay, now this is clear. Now at top there is a curve. You will see this curve is eighty millimeter from the center edge in both directions. We will put one point here for reference curve. So first I'll create a plane. Top plane. Go to feature and activate plane. Now here top plane direction 80 millimeter upside. Again activate top plane flip side. So we created 80 millimeter in both side. Now let's activate plane one sketch. Go to select point and I'm going to put at center exit. Now select the plane to sketch again activate point place at center press escape key to out exit. Now simply let me click and hide the planes activate surface now here I am going to choose filled surface 
now first let me choose boundary boundary either you can choose age line or curve so i am going to choose this all ages which is going to be create a closed loop now look it is going to create a shape a curvature but this is seems uneven constraint curve i am going to choose here and i am going to choose this point look it is going to fix this point but age setting you can't keep contact because there are already many uh, surfaces exist so i am going to choose tangent look if i am going to choose tangent it will give you a smooth view and here simply choose apply to all ages so no need, so it will apply all the ages no need to apply separately to each now fix boundary keep merge result so it will merge with this all body even curvature display curvature comb you can adjust the curvature comb scale and density or even let's say you can activate mesh and you you will observe and you can see analyze how complicated this you can change the density of mesh zebra strip okay okay let me finish the bottom one filled surface activate all edges don't choose face choose age now look constraint curve at least i am going to choose this point but it is see it's not looking perfect so end setting keep tangent length apply to all corner and merge result if i am not going to un i'll keep unmerge you will see here two body see so it's better to edit keep merge result just go to evaluate check curvature and see the edges are perfectly blend together only few things are here not perfectly gone but other edges are perfectly blend let me choose this zebra strip and look it is matching perfectly not perfect but it is near see I hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid box and autodesk inventory thanks for watching